the Q Power system, it's uh, a complete package that offers the best performance for the scimitar. All these four elements, which are prop, motor, battery, and ESC, they were all tested. And some of them made for the scimitar, like the prop and the motor, to get the most performance. Performance means the most thrust, in this case very important because the vector thrust, to get the most speed and to get the best flying time in a low weight. The propeller is our design. The size is a 10 by 8. It's a two-blade prop. And I would like to talk a little bit about a new feature we have with the prop. As you see here on the hub area, we have added what we call uh, ears. They're like a counterbalance weight in the hub. <clears throat> the reason of this is to help uh, in the balancing process. As you know, it's important to balance propellers in vertical position and a horizontal position. Horizontal position, pretty easy. We have the blades, and we use the blades, you know, to accomplish level horizontal level. And in this case, we're adding these two ears here, we do the same thing. We use this two ears, uh, the weight of these ears, to balance the prop vertical. Especially on this airplane is very important as all the vibration coming from the prop, it will go to the servo, which is the servo that, you know, control the vector thrust. So, if you decide to change the prop, and I know many models like to try, I would recommend to balance your prop before you put it on the scimitar. We have a, a, a new custom built Outrunner uh, motor, size 32, it's a 1010 kV. We have our E-Flight 60 amp ESC switching uh, mode, a very high quality ESC. We have a battery, which is an E-Fly battery, 3200 uh, mAh 30C 4S, which offers a very strong power as it demands, you know, the motor and the prop in this case. When you have all this power, as the scimitar has, you need to cool it very well. So we have developed a special canals where we direct the air to the battery, to the ESC, and to the motor. We want to make sure that every component on the scimitar is working at uh, the right temperature. The scimitar opens the door to a new type of aerobatic, and that is thanks to the vector thrust. The vector thrust on the scimitar is one axis, what is one axis is, is only on the yaw and is coupled with the rudder. The unit itself is driven by one servo. It's our new mini servo from E-Flight, uh, full metal gear, include an um, aluminum servo arm. That drives the unit. Uh, I will just briefly describe the unit. Is Imagine you have a can, and inside of that can you have the motor. And then that can has an extended arm, that, uh, that arm is hooked to the servo. Then that can will pivot in a top and a bottom bearing. In this case, we put a really large bearing so to have a really robust uh, system. And that's basically the control. Decision to make it on the yaw, you know, you can go pitch, axis, if you're doing a single like this case, or going yaw. The decision on going on yo was it gives the ability to the pilot to do more maneuvering. The yo allows also to get more uh, rotational speed, and basically you can do more maneuvers with it. It offers an incredible thrust at low speed. We have seen out there um, EDF type of airplanes uh, using the vector thrust, but um, EDF are kind of speed, they are speed. Propeller, like in this case, is thrust. 
So it's, it's an ideal configuration for zero airspeed type of maneuvers like the scimitar can do. And believe me, I have flown the scimitar quite a bit, but not enough to learn what this airplane can do. It's, I think between all of that, of us that have flown the scimitar, we know a little bit um, of this new door that we are opening here. What this offered to the pilot it's, it's exciting. It's very exciting. What it would be more exciting than going to the field and have something new, something new to do, to learn, or, or to try. I hope not to crash, but pushing that limit, it's, it's the fun part, at least for me. I like to try something new, something different, fly-wise or, or you know, design-wise. So I think this will really uh, make a lot of people, uh, you know, excited about it.